if you've uploaded well let's say if you've tested your pages locally and then you uploaded them to your web host and you verify that you uploaded everything meaning you've uploaded the page the uh, and the videos and they're all up there and it still doesn't work and you know you verified that uh, let's just see you verified through the source code that your links to the videos actually work I mean right here I know it works because it didn't give me a 404 error um, then you know that you have a problem with your MIM types on your server and MIM types are uh, they're, they're basically a way that the browser sends that the server sends information to your browser that what it's receiving is not an HTML file and that it's uh, it needs to be treated differently now for example when you add embedded CSS uh, you have to add or you add any CSS rather for that matter you have to actually add a type to it um, let's just look over here I'm sure it'll have an example see for example it's it's this type is saying hey this is text but it's not HTML it's CSS so treat it accordingly now in our video in our, in our uh, video page we actually added some information that says um, that says look at this it's a video type file but it may not be good enough we may actually need to serve it up on the server side to send it over there and there's two different ways of adding MIM types to your server to make sure that they play now my preferred method is to actually go right to your uh, panel like your C panel of your web host and do it so for example I use IX web hosting oops no that's not uh, let's see uh, I use IX web hosting and um, I'm gonna go right to uh, manage here we go I'm gonna go right to my account and I know that in the cPanel portion I have uh, the ability to change this stuff let's see huh, mm -mm. here we go and through them I go to my C panel and I'm gonna to go to MIM types now regardless of the web host you should have something similar and um, if you don't or if you don't know then you should probably reach out to your web host directly and find out where to change this and what I did is when I went to MIM types I added the the extension of the file which was for example uh, the WebM and then what it was it was video dash WebM and you should have something similar like if I go to add what you add for file extension is the actual extension that it is WebM and then for MIM type you add what you added to your document over here which is uh, minus the type you add the video forward slash well I was talking about WebM video slash WebM and it looks something like this you see you your host will probably have something similar like this too and the the reason I say this is my preferred method and the other method I'm going to say is that this sets sets it up for your entire domain so anything that's going through your domain is these MIM types are going to be associated so you just set it up for your whole entire site uh, another way to do it is to actually create to do it uh, per directory via uh, an, an HT access um, file and if you go to the following URL it says HT you know www.htaccess.guide.com and then adding dash mim dash types and this article over here it'll explain what you should do you basically end up creating a file that you're going to put in your directory called HT access and you add basically you could kind of copy and paste this stuff you could copy and paste some of this and instead of adding add type whatever this says you just said add type and then you video forward slash webm and then you add dot webm 
um, similar to what we did through the panel. Um, actually, let's see if it has something. Uh, here you go. I mean, he, here's an example of it. This is MPEG, though, but it shows it. Um, this would be the other way to do it, which is on a per directory basis. Uh, most servers, I don't want to say most, but a lot of servers out there are going to already have this uh, set up for you. For me, uh, with IX Hosting, when I first uploaded stuff, it didn't work, and that was the solution to resolve it. So keep in mind, if you do not see your videos appear on your website and you know all the assets necessary are, have been uploaded to it, then your issue is with the MIM types and you need to associate the MIM types with a video and uh, you can either use an HD access file or you could go through the control panel of your web host and you know when in doubt if you're using a paid hosting service give them a buzz because that's why uh, you're paying them <laughs>